Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is Monica and I'm doing our next seven to 10 days of readings. How are you? I've missed you. Uh, my voice is still recovering, but it's a lot better than it's been. So thank you for your patience. So we're going to be looking at what's coming up for you in the next seven to 10 days. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Happy birthday. I'm recording this during Gemini season. I hope you have a wonderful celebration. Be sure to watch all your placements to get all the messages that may pertain to you. And if you have any significant Pisces placements, or if you feel called to check out my second channel, follow the calling. There may be messages for you there. We have the world that flipped over. Uh, Pisces Tarot and Advice linked in the description box below. And as always, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And please consider subscribing if you haven't uh, done so already. It just lets me know that you enjoy the content, you find it useful, and you'd like me to keep going. Okay, so uh, let's see what's going on for Gemini in the next 7 to 10 days. From whenever it is you're watching this video. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I almost flipped it over. I flipped it back. I don't know. I just, I just go with it. All right, so let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles as the overall energy. So that could be experiencing hardship, a loss, or fear of hardship, fear of loss. This could also be feeling left out, feeling left behind, abandoned. We'll see what this is about. Let's see. Current situation, the death card. Well, for some of you, something ended, and that's what this is. It could be a job. It could be a relationship, a living arrangement. It's, it's done, and you can't go back to it, right? Scorpio energy. Four of Cups is the challenge. Yeah, the Four of Cups is an energy where we're stuck on what has ended and we don't see any other opportunities coming in. Okay, Gemini? And the Foundation, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're stuck on what has ended um, because you put a lot of time there, because you put a lot of effort into that, because you put a lot of your resources into whatever that was. So it's almost like you're struggling to accept that it's just done, you know? This could have been something that, um, it didn't necessarily end quickly, unless I'm gonna see the tower, but it's almost like if there were signs that it's not working, you didn't see them, you know what I mean? To you, it was like business as usual, let's invest in this, it's good. Five of Cups in the recent past, what are you going through, Gemini? A very difficult ending a very difficult ending for what it's worth despite of everything you put into that situation it was never going to go any further it wasn't going to be what you wanted it to be for what it's worth okay because with the death card whatever is ending with the death card energy was done and dead a long time ago you know what i mean on the mind we have the two of wands well gemini it looks like you're, you're coming out of a time of mourning. You're coming out of a time of loss. You're accepting that something is done. I feel like you may have been struggling with that for a while and perfectly understandable. But I feel like you're accepting that something is done and you're finally putting yourself out there, opening up to the possibility, to the notion, to the thought of, okay, what else is available? What, what, you know, what do you do? This could be where you've been married for years and years and years. You did not expect to be divorced at the point in time you are. And for a while, you've been kind of going through that and dealing with that and how to accept it and how to, well, you go through all the stages, don't you, right? And so this would be where this week is the week when you're coming into a place of, okay, what do people do these days? Like, how do people date these days? Because it's been a while, you know, since I dated, right? So if you've been in a job for forever, you thought you were going to, you thought you were a valuable and valued employee and, you know, you were going to be there and appreciate it and you continue to grow until you retire. And before you know it, something a happened where they just ended the contract, okay? And you go through all the stages, right? of disbelief and anger and then resentment and then just sadness and sorrow and, and eventually to acceptance. And this is where you're saying, okay, what, how do people get jobs these days, right? Because this is something that was 
a, a thing in your life for a long time, right? So when you started this thing, nothing looks the same now, okay? The, the job market doesn't look the same. The dating pool, dating world is not the same as it was when you entered this situation, you know? So now you have to learn the new way, as it were. So what's coming in for you, Gemini? We have the Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Moon. Um, you're still resistant to change, Gemini. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a fear of the unknown. Okay? And you're still a bit resistant to change. The wheel is trying to turn to bring you new things, new opportunities. But there's a fear of the unknown because you don't have enough information to you know, to, to figure things out, to decide if that something's good for you or not good for you. And so you hesitate and you withdraw. Um, and that is slowing down the process of new things coming in. Does that make sense? So this is, I feel like for some of you, something's happening too fast. So you're only now opening up to the possibility of dating. And as soon as you open your energy to that, the universe is bringing you someone very quickly and it almost like intimidates you. It, it overwhelms you. It's like, I'm not, you know, because this person coming in, they're very fun. They're very different. They also uh, have a lot of emotion and that could be what overwhelms you. Or they're talking about serious commitments and you're like, I want, I'm building my way up to that. I don't know. I'm not there. I just got out of something, you know, so you're just withdrawing, right? Or a new job coming in and you're like, well... I don't know, they want to, it, almost to you, it feels like they're moving too fast for you. They want me to start tomorrow. They want, want me to start next week. Like, no way, I still need to get this done, that done. Or they, I, oh, I'd have to travel a bit more for this. So well, I don't know how I feel about that, right? Because this thing that's coming in will take you out of your comfort zone because your comfort zone is, is no longer, it's done, right? This was your comfort zone. This is what's familiar to you. This is what you know. And whether you're aware of it or, or it's subconsciously, you're looking for something that's like your comfort zone, okay? But the bottom line is you have changed. Everything else has changed. So it's going to be different, okay? Whatever it is, it will be out of your comfort zone. So it's just something to be mindful of, to be aware of, okay? What else for Gemini here? Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Three of Wands. Um... Yeah, there's hesitation. This this could also be some sort of trust issue. Because something is trying to be given to you, granted to you, okay? It's trying to move along with the two of wands and the three of wands. But I feel like there's some fear and some hesitation because of that ten of swords that happened in your life. Because you're still feeling betrayed. Um, the wounds are st they're healing, but they're not completely closed. Maybe that's why you feel like things are happening too quickly. Whatever is being presented to you, Gemini, offered to you is fair. It's just unexpected and not familiar to you. Okay, what else for Gemini? Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Emperor. Yeah, whatever is being offered to you, there's a bit of hesitation. There's a bit of fear. There's a bit of trust issues here now with you and love or you and business or you and anyone right this is telling you just go ahead and ask questions because whoever you're dealing with here with the emperor aries energy they're not going to flinch like whatever questions you have they will address and they will answer to the best of their abilities okay this is someone who welcomes debate who welcomes negotiation right because it's like they want to do things the right way this is someone who's very stable in what they're offering you if it's a job if it's a friendship if it's a relationship if it's a collaboration of whatever kind so this is also advice for you gemini ask questions just ask questions be aware that you may be a bit hesitant and you're coming from a place of just being a bit reserved cautious not full full on fearful but just very cautious because of what you've been through tell that person this make them aware that that's the state you're in that's the place you're in so that they can adjust their approach and not overdo it for example you know 
or not expect too much of you too fast, etc. Because I'm seeing something new trying to come in. It's very different though. There's an unexpected, unfamiliar element to it, unknown. You'd really have to step out of your comfort zone. You're still mourning your comfort zone. And sometimes you're saying, that's it, I'm done, I'm good. Other times you're saying, oh, are you sure I can't get that back, right? And that's natural, that's okay. But just try to find that balance of just taking a step back, seeing everything from a bird's eye view, like two wands, right? Take in all the factors and make a decision. Okay. Temperance, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're just now finding your balance, recovering after something, healing after something. And everything that comes at you seems to be moving too fast. Because you've been in this place of stillness, healing, now you're trying, you're eventually going to work your way up and kind of build up speed. But it's almost like what's coming in feels like you they're expecting you to hit the ground running. And they might because they don't know where you've been, right? So this is a, a situation where whatever's coming into your life, whatever's trying to come in that's new, that's different, and that seems to be moving very quickly, be open and honest is your advice with the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. Tell them, listen, I'm open to this. I'm interested in this. However, you want me to be at level 10. I'm just at level 2. I want to be there. I'm working my way up to that. But this is where I've been dealing with. And this is why I'm moving as slowly as I'm moving. You tell them that they'll adjust their approach and their expectations of you. Okay? And you'll meet in the middle. Okay? They'll slow down so that you have time to speed up and meet somewhere in the middle. All right? But this is really a beautiful opportunity that's coming in for you here, Gemini. So I really hope this reading helps you, okay? Just be open, be honest, but at the same time, try to challenge, your, challenge yourself just a little bit to entertain something new. In your own time, at your own speed, but to entertain it, to give it a chance. Tell them this is where you are, you're open to it, you want to work with them, you want to meet them in the middle. But this is kind of where you are, how, what you would need from them, basically, if they wanted to work with you, be with you, date you, whatever the case may be. Okay, because I do see something here that's a really beautiful opportunity that could bring a lot, of, a lot of abundance and stability in your life. You just have to set the right tone when you get started, which means make sure you're on the same level, same footing, same speed. And you do that by discussing openly with this person and you can adjust, they can adjust to somewhere in the middle, okay? So Gemini, I'm gonna leave it here. I really hope this reading helps you. I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know what this is for you. I'm sorry you had to deal with whatever this is. This is a lot, but you have been healing. You are coming out of this, okay? That's the thing to focus on, okay? And continue to look to the future, not the past. You've healed, you're healing, okay? You're recovering, you're a, a new you, it's a new day right? Let's have new experiences. Let's have new interactions. And that's how you kind of get back in the swing of things, right? Be gentle with yourself, but at the same time, like I say, try to push yourself a little bit. Find that balance, okay? So I'm sending you lots of love. I'm going to leave it here. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.